Lord, a lot of times this thing come up and we might flare up and we might say, no, that cannot happen, this cannot happen, it have to, this has to be done. Oh Lord God, but sometimes do we come to thee, do we ask thee how to approach the situation? Do we ask you, Holy Spirit, how to, how to deal with things, what to say to others, Lord God, as persons who rely on us. As we say, we are, we are soldiers of the cross. Do we ask you what to do in situations? Father, it's all around the world, and I'm so glad that the men, it's not only here, in Jamaica, but all around, and we do pray, Lord God, that you would speak to all our hearts, bless us, encourage us, strengthen us. A lot of us may be in the faith for a good while, Lord God, and sometimes we have gotten callous and a bit weak, Lord God, but Father, Holy Spirit, spur us up, strengthen us, give us what we need, Lord, to move on. Lord, myself personally, Lord God, it really takes a toll on me when I really watch television, when I read the papers and see what is going on. How oh, can a father stop their daughter in the chest to death, my God? How oh, can a man stab his father 12, 13, 14, 18 times to death? My God, what is happening in our society? What is happening in the Caribbean? What is happening in the world? Lord, sometimes you even watch a movie and they are willing to sacrifice their own parents who brought them into this world, who took care of them. My God, this is a worldwide thing. Lord, my God, though you said we should pray and something won't come without prayer and fasting. But Lord God, your word says these things must come to pass. So although, Lord God, we pray, we have also have to become cognizant of the fact that these things are going to happen. But Lord God, as much as we can do our part to stop it, Lord God, help us to do that. Father, we praise you, we glorify you on you. We come to church every Sunday and when there's not a meeting, we represent you, Lord God, in all of these uh, different capacities. Father, we pray that we have always asked you, not because of just our experience, but when we ask you what to do, Father, what to do in situation. Father, we see the epidemic. Sometimes I don't even like to call the names, Lord God, but we see the epidemic, and we see the disasters that are happening in this world. Father, things have been changed, and changing rapidly. But Father, Help us, Lord God, to just pray for your intervention in these situations. Father, sometimes we, we don't even know really how to pray and what to, 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 to say, Lord God. But Lord God, we must go on in your name, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for your word that keep us going. Father, as we continue, Lord, in your presence, we just pray that you will just spare us, Lord God, from all these disasters. We see what just went on in COVID, Lord God. Oh my God, that was just a real heart-rending situation when we saw a person just dropping and dying all around us. And Lord God, you took us out of that. What is next? We don't know. We just have to prepare our hearts. Have, have that faith and, 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 um, and hope in you for that better will come, Lord God. Have your own way in our hearts as we pray. We give you thanks, we give you praise. Thank you that we can come as men to Lord God. Usher up our prayer to you, Lord God, that we can hear that we cry out, that we need your help, we need your inter intervention in our lives at this time, Lord God. Thank you again for everything as we continue in your presence and say we love you in Jesus' name. Amen.
people will be blessed as oh God we give sacrificially not holding back to your cause in the name of Jesus we ask so that your sons your people your daughters will be obedient to the knowledge that will you through the Holy Spirit will create within our hearts so that we not relent we not hold back but we give faithfully to the cause we hear you in your word, O oh God, as Paul spoke to the Corinthian Christians, that they should continue what they have decided to do. O oh God, we pray that we we'll respond to your work as we purpose in our hearts so to give to your cause. Because, O oh God, what truly once again belongs to you is with us. Lord, allow us not to complain that we don't have it. But help us, O oh God, to respond to the fact that because you are owner and we are stewards, we can find it. We pray, Almighty God, that we will, as we listen to you sending us forth, to understand that you have already empowered us and equip us with what is necessary and available to do your work. We ask, O oh God, that you open our eyes so that we'll see and open our ears so that we'll hear and open our wills, O oh God, so that we will act upon that which you, O oh God, purpose within our hearts since we belong to you, to utilize the resources, the financial resources that we have. We pray, Almighty God, that we'll understand that the widow's might that comes to you faithfully is sufficient enough. May, O oh God, we respond faithfully to your call as we pray for financial support because, O oh God, what we are praying for is that we will understand faithfully that once we respond sacrificially, your God will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. Hallelujah to your name. Father, we pray right now for the atrocities that are being faced by your people worldwide that oh God you open heaven as you dispatch your angels your messengers and as they work oh God with mortals who oh, believe that greater is in us than he that is in the world and that we are more than conquerors that, oh God, the persecution that is coming to the church, that is already being felt by the church worldwide, that will understand that no power, no power, no power is greater than you, oh God. That even when the persecution comes, We'll stand in your name. Yes. We will glorify your name. Yes. We'll triumph because we know, oh God, that even the blood of the saints will stand as a testimony against the forces and the darkness of evil. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you, oh God, will do your work so that the persecutions will stop. But oh God, if it is your will that we'll fight the good fight with all our might and that through the blood of the saints, your name will be glorified. Help us not to be fearful. Help us, oh God, not to shrink back. Help us not to be like those who shrink back and are destroyed. But help us to understand we are like those who believe and are saved. Oh God, work upon us men to stand and fight the good fight with the understanding, oh God, that you are fighting for us. 
Lord, go before us now, we pray. And do your work yourself because we understand, yes, the heart of the battle, the sweet of the victory. We will ourselves to you, O God, take full control now. And may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Men of God, say now. Amen. Amen.